What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV, back here for another episode of Reacts, as we're going to be looking into the story that the sun broke last night, late last night, or early this morning, should I say, about uh, the Korean national team in there just before the Jordan game, apparently a bust-up which left Son with dislocated fingers. As you can see, um, Sonny does have two fingers strapped up to his hand at the mm. moment. and um, the Everyone sun... was wondering what happened Yeah, there. exactly. Everyone was wondering what happened, and... Now it's come to light what actually has happened. The sun broke it and we're all thinking, we were sharing it around the WhatsApp group saying, surely this aren't true. Like the sun breaking a news at like midnight, surely this can't be true. And yeah. it's come to pass that, it, that everything is, has been true. Yeah, uh, the Korean FA have confirmed the story. Uh, Lee Kang-in has put an apology out, which we'll get into as well in React. So it is quite an uh, interesting story um, uh, surrounding the goings-on of the Korean camp just before the Jordan game and maybe shed some light into why there was such a poor performance um, in that Jordan game in the semi-final and why everyone everyone seemed to be very disjointed and there was clearly no togetherness in that game. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, and so we'll go on to Twitter uh, X and we'll see how the internet did react to it. And we'll start off with Sung Mo Lee. He's a uh, quote retweeting a Alistair Gold piece. And he's and this says a little piece on Hyung Min Son altercation and injury behind the scenes with South Korea as he tried to be peacemaker, which has caused the storm back home. Thanks to Sung Mo Lee for his expert knowledge on things Korean football and Sonny. And Sung Mo has a uh, quote retweeted that saying this article only includes Confirmed stories by KFA or players themselves. Lee Kangin's quote apology for the verbal argument. My view on the whole situation. There are more aggressive stories around, but I didn't share any stories that are not confirmed. So I think all these kind of pieces are going to come on later in the uh, Reacts episode. Mm -hmm. But it's just interesting to see that, you know, very reliable journalist in Ali Gold and Sung Mo Lee on the Korean side are all confirming these things. Mm -hmm. um, Eurofoot says a big fight occurred during South Korea's Asia Cup tournament Kangin Lee was at the centre of the issue with some other players asking Klinsman to exclude him as a result of the incident Son's finger was dislocated trying to separate players um, as reports from Yonhap out in Korea and I think what the situation was is that Kangin Lee apparently didn't want to eat with the team anymore he left early wanted to play pool with some of his younger counterparts and Sonny didn't like it, did he? And um, went to confront him and then some other players got involved and it, and it proved like a big bust up within the squad. Son tried to be peacemaker and he was the one dislocating two of his fingers. I can't believe they ended up injuring Sonny going into such a big game in the semi-final as well, what it caused. And maybe it shows a bit of the immaturity in a lot of that career squad. And unfortunately, um, we were all wondering, you know, why during the whole tournament there didn't seem to be everyone fighting for each other. As we said in that Jordan game, it didn't see, it see, at points it seemed like no one was running, no one was yeah. fighting for each other. And now it seems there was a few splits in the camp and Kang and Lee was part of like a younger, um, was part of like the younger um, players in the squad. Apparently, obviously everyone eats together during mealtime. That's how Son and Captain wants it and uh, maybe Klinsman as well. But he wants everyone to eat together to uh, build team bonding. And apparently... Ever people were still eating and, and um, Kang and Lee wanted with a few of the younger players to go and play some, I think it was ping pong yeah. or pool, one of the two. And um, yes, yeah, so, uh, Human Son uh, took issue today. He said, no, everyone eats together. And then when everyone's finished, we can go do wh whatever we want. But uh, got into a big bit of a fight. And um, obviously people uh, some players backed up Sonny and it caused this whole big issue. So... Um, not nice to read about, but obviously Son has a what has certain ways of dealing for things to bring the team together, and it's a shame that Kang and Lee uh, had to go against that. It's crazy though to do these kind of things on the eve or a couple of days before such a big game, one of the biggest games in Korean's history, footballing history. It's mm. madness. Like you would think, like in that moment of time after such a dramatic win against Australia, that would bring the team together, not make them further apart. Mm -hmm. It's just craziness. Um, and what do you reckon Klinsman was doing in the background while this was smiling. going on? Just smiling in the background. <laughs> um, Sung Mo Lee again, uh, quote retweeting Kangin Lee's uh, Instagram post saying, Kangin admitted that there were verbal argument between him and Hyun Min Son and apologized for it on his Instagram story. Until this moment, there are no further official comments from the KFA about the issues between the players or about Klinsman's issue. It's uh, interesting. At but least he's issued an apology to Sonny. But it's interesting as well um, if... 
a lot of players wanted him dropped. I don't know if we're getting into that. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we'll get into that. But yeah, so there you go. It's, I mean, it's from the horse's mouth, Kagan Lee does confirm there was a verbal argument with him, <clears throat> him and Sonny. So yeah, really disappointing, to be honest. It's not the first time, is it, that we've seen like these kind of things happen? You know, I remember a year or two ago, uh, Kim Min Jae and, and Sonny having an altercation with each other as well. Um, it's weird that this kind of stuff happens um, in the Korean national setup. Sonny has high standards. Yeah, and so he should. But mm -hmm. these guys should have high standards as well. You know what I mean? It's not like they're um, they're not playing for massive clubs themselves. He's playing for PSG and Kim Min Jae at the time, I think. I'm not sure who he was playing for, to be honest. But, um, you know, he was still a big Napoli, player. Napoli, I think. <clears throat> Where? Napoli, I think. Napoli was still a big club. Uh, but this is from Korea Football News and um, saying the national team players were usually having dinner together the day before the game to strengthen unity. However, the day before the Jordan match, young players, including Kang In Lee, Seo Young Woo and Jung Woo Young, ate early and played table tennis. They played table tennis noisily next to the other teams who were eating dinner. Son tried to stop them, but they did not listen. Son got angry and grabbed Kang In Lee by the collar. And Lee swung his fist at Hyung Min Son. Oh. Son dodged Lee's fist but injured his finger while other players tried to stop the two players. Um, but tried to stop two players. Senior players, including Song Asya and Klinsman, to exclude Lee from the roster for the match against Jordan as he had disrupted the team atmosphere. But Klinsman did not accept this. Well, and he got what, what happened. He got the consequences of that, which was a performance which no one liked. Not a shot on target um, at all against Jordan. Um, clearly, there was an issue between Kangin and Son. They were, didn't seem to be passing to each other at all during the game. Um, and that's really hard to hear. It seems like uh, uh, Kangin was just being very immature in that in that element. And maybe Son overreacted, potentially, um, going so hard, you know, grabbing him by the collar and causing making a physical altercation. But... If he's trying to harness a unity between the team, and you've got um, you know these young players going off, um, creating a bit of ruckus and 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 disrupting uh, what Son's trying to do, that must be very frustrating. And this is what Ange talks about when he says, um, you know, one bad egg in a way. I'm not saying Lee Kang Kang's a bad egg, but I'm just saying it how. Situation. Yeah, I'm just saying how. You, uh, a few people go against what you're trying to do and it can cause a whole disruption it can cause a lot of damage and this is proof of it you know Lee Kang in going and 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 and, and playing table tennis a few of the young players and it just causes a whole disruption and it causes a lot of problems it led to this whole blowout so um should uh Klinsman have dropped Lee Kang in well it couldn't have gotten worse than the Jordan game so I think probably yes <laughs> yeah I think you've got to back your captain in these situations especially someone who uh like Hyung Min Son uh with the stature that he does have I know Kang In Lee can be a difference maker but having riffs on the football pitch is not where you want to be seems like a bit of an arrogant guy Lee Kang In to be honest maybe he's uh it's going to his head have all this praise yeah um you don't step up to Hyung Min Son like that who do you can't. think you are? All right, you're doing well at PSG. You've done. He's a good national games, hero, Hyungmin but Son. don't you dare look at Human Son. A think national you're hero. Than him. He thinks he's bigger than Son. He thinks he, he can he can get away with it. That's why he he did it, and uh, he he's getting too big for his boots. Lee Kang In. Well, needs some humbling. Out, he's come out with an apology, so maybe that is a sign that uh, he is he's uh, getting back into his box. Good, shall I say. Um, let's scroll down a little bit to Sung Mo Lee's uh, next tweet. Um, yeah, and it says about this report, this is, was the one that the Sun reports, and he says about this report, the Sun, the KFA admitted it was true that there was a bust up. However, it is important to remember the real issue for Korean football now is the KFA and Klinsman, not the players. Don't jump into conclusion about players until we hear from them. And it is kind of strange, isn't it, where these reports come out on Korea time through English media after there's been such a kind of influence or not uh, not influence but such a focus on Klinsman from the Korean fan base such a focus on the KFA and then these kind of reports get leaked into the press it is a bit strange isn't it are they trying to divert attention I think so I think so and when you're looking at it as much as Hyun Son the players had an issue Kang In Lee has an issue these guys are still the future of Korean football mm -hmm. the KFA and Klinsman still need to go and, and still need to, well, the, not the KFA needs to go, KFA is never going to go, but the guys running the KFA and Klinsman need to take a long, hard look at themselves. They need to restructure the way that Korean football works because these things can get resolved. 
Kangin Lee and Hyung Min Son, like they'll be in the squads for years to come. We walk Klinsman, under the bridge. Yeah, exactly. And Klinsman and, and the leaders of the KFA, they're the ones that are, have probably got this situation to, to where it is. Yeah, and apparently there is a split in the KFA at the moment whether to keep Klinsman or not. Some uh, people want to keep him. I think the head of the KFA apparently sees no reason to, to let him go. And maybe he's using this as a way to divert attention, get people arguing about whether their, their team Lee Kang in or T Human and so on, and avoiding looking at the KFA as to the future of Korean football and just allow Klinsman to keep doing what he's doing. I think that is where the focus needs to be. Yes, there, there was a fight and it's bad and it was a problem. And I'm sure in a few years' time or even sooner than that, they'll make up and, and there won't be an issue going forward. But um, it's very peculiar timing. As soon as the pressure's building on the KFA, they release a story. And they release this story in the, on the morning of when, you know, I think it was like midnight or 11 p.m. English time. So even though it was an English publication, they were releasing it more of like when the Korean uh, public are waking up looking at the news. So the definitely point tells me that this was um, something for um, uh, the Korean public to focus on. Uh, and, and to break rather than like a story about human son specifically. Yeah. Um, Fighting Stripes Football says, regarding Kangin Lee and Hyungmin Son, fights happen in a tension-packed tournament setting more so. But the Sun got the leak. Uh, the KFA jumped to confirm it. This is clearly desperation from Chung. Let's not give, uh, give in what they want. Keep the focus on Klinsman out and Chung out. And I think that's spot on, to be honest. Because, um, like I said before, Kangin Lee and Hungman Son, they'll settle their differences. They'll be top players for Korea. But Klinsman and Chung, they, they have no future in what they're doing unless Chung changes his ways and sacks Klinsman and hires a manager that can actually do the job and actually passionate about the job. Nothing's going to move forward. Yeah, it's a distraction. It's a major distraction from the core issue, which was uh, how Klinsman was managing the team. And as much as you know, these two players got into a fight, the re you know the reason why Korea throughout the tournament. We're not, we're not doing so well. It's not because those two players got into a fight the night before the semi-final. It's because of how they've been playing throughout the whole tournament. And that includes in the group stages and all that. So that's what the Korea uh, FA and Klinsman have taken responsibility for, not just blame it on a fight that happened the night before the final, mm -hmm. uh, semi-final. Let's go down to not the Trey Talk one, the one after that. It says it's so cliche, uh, which is kind of dirty media play from the KFA. They just blame the players for their failure. They didn't even apologize for their performance and instead quickly spilled the beans about the players' fights. It's so shameful. And again, uh, I agree with this absolutely wholeheartedly, to be honest. And yeah, why did they confirm it? They had no reason to confirm it straight away. They could have just left it as a rumor, and people would have, some people would have believed it, some people wouldn't have believed it, and that's it. So they're jumping attention. That's exactly. all it is. Exactly. They jumped to confirm it to make sure that everyone knows it's true, and we're going to distract you from the real, from the core issues. And uh, that's what it is a major distraction. And last but not least, we've got one here from Tedaris to do saying the KFA, you should be ashamed for taking advantage of this man's dedication for his country. Son, who played with injuries, hernia problems, groin issues, facial fracture, etc., etc., for his country and his nation. This is how the KFA repays him by throwing him under the bus. Still remember um, how his face got ballooned in the World Cup after the Brazil match. We love you, our captain. And and that's the way Hyung Min Son. Um, as in he should be treated with the utmost respect um, in terms of whether it's a career setting, a Tottenham mm -hmm. setting, whatever it is, he always gives 110% to the cause and he should never, his name should never be thrown into disrepute, ever. 100%, especially from the sun, you know, leaking news to the sun and then it's basically gossiping. I know it it's obviously dirty, turned out to be it? true, but, you know, these things should be kept in house. You know, if they had a fight, doesn't mean it should be public knowledge. Obviously, we're talking about it, but it's because it's been confirmed by the Korean Football Association, which should never really be the case when you're talking about um, such a national hero by Hyun Min Son who dealt with the situation in the best way he sees fit. Maybe he'll acknowledge he overreacted. Maybe he feels he didn't overreact. I don't know the situation, but um, it's, I don't know why the KFA are getting involved in confirming these kind of stories. It's a bit of a, it's a bit peculiar to me, uh, and uh, doesn't seem right when uh, you know Sonny dealt with his um, dealt with the situation in a way as a captain, which he felt was the right situation at the time. And now the KFA are kind of coming and saying, "Yeah, it's true. Son and Kang and Lee had a fight, and this happened." And that I was like, "What are you doing? You're turning into you're confirming tabloid stories now. Just you know, just leave, just leave it and no comment. Why do you have to confirm it?" Yeah diverting attention to what the from what the real problem is 
And yes, this is a problem. But like I said, these problems get resolved. These happen, maybe don't dislocate fingers and stuff like that. But arguments happen all the time in football behind closed doors. And it, and it happens a lot more than you'd probably be led on to think without the news ever spilling and the, the news ever coming out. This news has come out because the KFA wanted it to come out. Mm -hmm. They wanted to divert attention away from what the real issue is. And that is themselves. And that is the manager of the football team. Mm -hmm. and that's the, that's the situation we're in at the moment but at least Sonny is back at Tottenham now he's back in a happy place um, until these issues do get resolved let's hope they do get resolved both, uh, before the next time the national team do meet up I think it's in March they've got a game against China and there's another game in there as well but that's how the internet reacted to the bust up between um, Kangin Lee, uh, well, one side of the team and the other side of the team with Kangin Lee and Hume and Son at the center of things. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and we'll see you next time.